story, and I find this, and it's not your story alone, but it's when you have these events, and the Supreme Court says these actions were unconstitutional. In fact, it was Justice Thomas repeating what the Eighth Circuit said about that. These actions are unconstitutional. And you have an institution of higher education, and all it has to do is say, you know what? We've learned, and we would like to invite Ms. Hogarth back and apologize and maybe have a little event. None of that happened. And this is the problem with bureaucracies. You know, I make so many mistakes that I don't repeat them because if I did, I wouldn't have enough room to make the new ones. So, you know, just sort of accept the mistake and own up to it. And I want to turn to Olivia and let her say a few words. Olivia, you perhaps have the toughest job because each of us here uh, so far had a bit of an agenda and we specifically asked you to come without an agenda, of course you have a perspective, that's a different thing, uh, to share your view as a student here at the Bowen Law School as to what you, what you think about free speech on campus. And this is not a commentary on Bowen Law School. More generally, uh, what are your thoughts? So I think it's crucial to like, the development of students and you know, the learning of our learning that you know we are able to have these conversations and be able to discuss with one another even if they are opposing views i mean that's how we learn that's how we grow and at the end of the day like if if we're terrified to talk in class or to talk outside of class about one per certain one certain policy or another we're never going to develop and we're never going to go anywhere i mean these institutions are all pumping out like our next generation of leaders our next generation of professionals and if we're taught to keep our mouth shut and to not talk about our opinions and to not be able to have a conversation without fear of repercussions then, I mean, how are we supposed to get anywhere? So that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, I think that a lot of my peers, especially in college, were more worried about repercussions from teachers when it came to writing papers and discussion-based classes. I remember one discussion-based class specifically that we asked, that our teacher had asked us a question about some policy or something, and I answered the policy, but I was apparently too conservative, and she told me that was wrong and responded with the liberal side of the policy, which is completely fine, it's just it's the fact that she said I was wrong about it and then they give me my discussion points for the day. That's where the issue lies. It's, it's, it's just, as a student, we should not be scared to talk to our teachers and to be able to have these valid conversations because when we do, we get told, like, you can't talk about that or we get told that, you know, our grades are going to suffer because of it. I mean, we don't get told we are, but we all feel that fear in every single college class I took as a political science major at the University of Arkansas. That was just not probable. You had to either be straight center or left, you couldn't be right in the majority of my classes. It's really... So that was my main concern. No, it's wonderful. You come and testify. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. We didn't pick her by accident. Um, and, you know, I tell students, uh, I don't tell students in class my politics, albeit if you read my columns, it's not very hard to tell that I'm right of center. Um, uh, but. I, well, I enjoy the debate with left of center comments, whether or not a student believes it, by the way. I don't care. Um, because I know the right of center comments. Um, and so uh, when a teacher says that you're wrong, and I never tell left of, student, uh, uh, left of center students that they're wrong, because they're not wrong. These are different perspectives. That's all it is. Um, I saw Josh and the senator taking notes furiously. Uh, and so I'm going to circle back around, particularly Josh. Josh has about 20 minutes left. Um, and so we'll circle back first to him for what additional comments you have. And, and I don't think I need to ask you a question. I think you have certain points you want to raise, so I'll let, I'll let you. Me? Indeed. Indeed. So 